I'm Chris Chamberlain, the board game Black Belt, and we're in the board game Bat Cave. And today, I thought we'd try something a little different. If you've seen any of our other videos, uh, it's usually entertainment. Today, we're going to try something different. I'm going to try to give back to the board gaming community by sharing with you a process of uh, me building the ultimate gaming table. Um, now, if you're like me, you have a lot of board games and you love to play them. And so you have a dedicated space to play those. Probably a lot of you probably have to take a, a dining room table and convert it every game night. Well, that's what we're here to do is we're here to make a dedicated gaming table. Perhaps you've seen uh, The Sultan by uh, Geek Chic Furniture. Uh, this is the ultimate gaming table. And if you have the $20,000 it takes to buy it, I suggest you go out and purchase one. Uh, but I don't. And I'm assuming a lot of you don't either. And so I decided uh, a year or so ago that I was going to start trying to build my own. Um, now, mine is not going to be the heirloom quality that theirs is. It's not going to be made out of the finest woods um, and the finest craftsmanship because I am not a professional. But uh, we're going to do it anyway, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, I think I know just enough about woodworking to get myself in trouble. And so I'm going to start with a few caveats. Number one, I am not a professional. Uh, I'm not teaching you how to do this. I'm only sharing with you the process in which I do so. I may or may not have the best way to go about it. If you are a professional woodworker, please leave in the comments uh, things that will help me. I'd appreciate it. Um, I know a little bit, but not everything. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell you that front. Number two, I'm not in a hurry. Um, I'm going to be doing this at a leisurely pace. It may take me six months. It may take me a year. I don't know. I really have no plan on time-wise. I just want to do it at my own pace because part of the reason I'm doing this is to slow down. I, I, I tend to be in a hurry a lot, and I'm building this table as a relaxation, take it easy kind of thing. Number three, I'm not going to use power tools. I know half of the crowd out there just went, oh, what? Yeah, I... I'm not using power tools, and it's not because I hate power tools. If you have power tools and want to duplicate this, I, I applaud you. There's a couple of reasons I'm not using power tools. One is because I, I'm very nostalgic, and I, I about a year ago came into possession of my great grandfather's tools, and it made me want to use them the same way he did. And so I've restored those tools, and now I'm going to try to build something with those tools that's last that will last forever just like he did um, I am also besides I don't want to use any power tools also because I don't have a shop uh, I, I'm gonna be building a lot of this in my backyard and some of it in my house and as you can see here in my basement and so I don't want any tools to generate noise and dust and sawdust and all that stuff that gets you have to have fumigation equipment and all that. I, I don't want to spend $20,000, like I just said, making this table. Um, and I guess the last caveat is I'm not making it out of cherry and all these other fine woods that you're going to see like Geek Sheet does. I'm making them out of cheaper materials but still good materials and we're going to we'll talk about those as we go along because this is a learning experience for me as well as the rest of you. Um, if you've ever seen the Sultan, uh, I'm going to put a picture of it up now. Uh, this thing is, is amazing. Uh, I applaud the Geek Sheet guys for doing this. Uh, I just cannot happen to afford that. So we're going to try to do it for uh, hopefully less than a, I don't know, my goal is to make it for less than $500, but I don't know, I may break that, especially if you don't have any tools or anything. You might have to buy some, but mostly we're going to be using the good old chisels. And uh, we're going to actually plane it using hand planes rather than wood planes. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. I've already started, like I said, and uh, we started on the legs first. And uh, I'll be showing the plans as I go, and they're hand-drawn plans, or my plans, I came up with these. And I suggest you build a, a table that more fits your room and where you're going to be building and uh, how many people you have at your game night. My game night averages almost 10 people, so 
I wanted a table that could seat 10 people. And actually, I think I whittled that down to nine. I think I've got eight normal seats and then one uh, dungeon master seat, which is, of course, going to be my seat, even if I'm not the dungeon master that night. Uh, but what we've done so far, and I'll put up a little bit extra. This is just your typical six by six post. Um, it's pine. Got it at the Home Depot. You know, I got a two eight foot uh, sections and cut them down. And yes, I cut them with a hand saw. I didn't did not cut these with a power saw. You won't be able to find probably unless you're industrial uh, a power saw that will cut through a six by six. You'll have to do these tricks where they rotate the thing and. And I'm not here to show you that because I didn't use, I just used a good old fashioned draw a line around it, measured, cut, measured twice, cut once, fellas, remember that. And uh, this is what we've got so far. I whittled down that six by six sections into uh, a beginning of a leg, and this is not even done. This is about 80% done. Uh, I have planed this, the sides down with this. Uh, planer here um, by hand a lot of sweat but you know that's the beauty of this it makes it permanent makes it uh, good quality and it also it makes it important to you when you finish it you, it's like you know a member of your family almost um, but we've cut down the top here here's where the uh, sorry about that here's where the uh, sides are going to rest the sidebars and uh, one other thing, if you've don't, never done any woodworking, uh, you might be amazed to learn that we're going to try to accomplish this tremendous task of building this Sultan-like table, and it won't be the Sultan, don't get me wrong. When you pay for a Sultan, you're getting real craftsmen building a real big, fine table. It's going to be a good table, though, and it's going to be uh, able to do a lot of the things the Sultan does, uh, but I'm going to build it in the same fashion that they built it, and that is we're not going to use any... Um, nails and hopefully no screw we'll just see how that goes but um, it's all wood joinery and uh, wood glue and so you'd be surprised what it can do but this is a, a typical leg I've gotten two cuts so far there's my second one I haven't gotten the this one plain quite as nice yet and I'm glad I started now in the beginning so I can document the whole process but Anyway, this is just kind of an introductory video to explain to you what we're going to be doing. And I'm hoping to use this as a uh, motivation uh, to force me into getting to work, get back to work on this table because we really need this table. And uh, if you would, please leave me a comment or a suggestion or some encouragement, like a like, like the video or something, just to give me a little bit of encouragement to pump out some more of these videos for y'all. And uh, if you have questions, ask me. If I don't know it, I'll make it up. No, I'll, I'll, we'll figure it out together. We'll, we'll do this together. And uh, You just need a flat surface to work with. And the way I'm doing it, you don't need any ventilation. Um, very quiet. And uh, if you have any questions about the tools I'm using or uh, the plans themselves, we do, we'll do. we be talking about the plans as we go through them. They're very rough. They're very... Uh, only I can read them right now, unfortunately. But... Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope this series keeps going. I hope that I uh, have this uh, documentary evidence when I finish this table to look back and see the mistakes I made and uh, maybe do it uh, better or someone else can do it better the next time. So once again, uh, check out our other videos and uh, like this one and please leave me a comment and some uh, motivation. Thanks.